Nancy Maples has two kids. Katie is a rising second grader and Justin is a rising fourth grader at Pittner Elementary in Ackworth. Their bus stop was just two houses down, but under a new plan the school board is about to consider, they'll have to walk much further. To me, having children, small children, I'm not talking high schoolers, but small children having to walk through the dark down a curve around just to get on the bus, that's that's just not safe. Cobb County school administrators say they have to cut their budget by $58 million. One million of that, they say, could come from cutting the number of bus stops from 50,000 down to 39,000. That's 11,000 fewer stops buses would make in Cobb County, saving fuel and increasing efficiency. In some cases, though, it would mean neighborhoods that now have 10 bus stops would now have just two, with some kids walking half a mile to their bus stop. I mean, what do you worry about the most? My kids getting hit from people flying up and down the roads. And, you know, unfortunately, it's not even the teenagers who are going fast. It's the adults. Late for work. Because they're late for work. Nancy says she's fortunate she doesn't work, so she'll be able to walk her children to their new bus stop. But she worries about other kids whose parents work and who'll have to walk alone to their new bus stops in the dark. Couldn't Cobb County find somewhere else to cut that million dollars rather than taking away bus stops?